Hey everyone, I'm Joyce from Magical, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to web scrape any website with zero code. So whether you're planning a vacation on Airbnb and you wanna get a house that everyone likes, or you're prospecting and doing stuff in LinkedIn, or maybe you work in influencer marketing and you're grabbing people's TikTok or Instagram bio information, then we're gonna cover all of that here today and you'll be able to grab all this data with just a few clicks, no more copy and pasting, and it's gonna save you tons of time. Okay, so to get started, let's do TikTok first. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull up a ton of different TikTok profiles. So if you work in influencer marketing, these are people that you wanna reach out to. They make great content and I think they would be perfect for Magical or for whatever brand you're working for. So I'm just gonna do about 10 or so and I'll just continue scrolling down, opening these up as new tabs, not Bloomberg. Okay, so I feel like that's quite a bit of tabs. So next, we're gonna open up the Magical Chrome extension. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can get it for free at getmagical.com or in the link in the description. So here, I'm just gonna open it up and you should see this little gem on this side. So when you hover over it, it says transfer to new sheet and it has a Google Sheets icon. So I'm just gonna click on it, hit yes, transfer all. So look how many tabs I have open. It would take me so much time to manually go in and copy and paste for all of these tabs, like if I wanted their follower account, their email, whatever it is. And so here on the right, you can see all the variables that Magical has identified on this webpage. So we have the first name, the last name, their personal website, their username. So now in our spreadsheet, Magical has automatically filled everything out for you. So it's grabbed all these profiles and broken them down into the pieces of data that are on the webpage. So we have the URL, the account name, how many people they're following. And so from here, you can clean it up a little bit. You can maybe make a new column and check people off after you've emailed them. In the description, you will have to go in and delete the extra text if they have other stuff in their description besides their email. But overall, this is a really great way. You can even set up some conditional validation so that it will color them if they're above a certain threshold of followers or below a certain threshold. So that way you can automatically categorize them as like micro, macro, mega influencers. And it's just a lot easier and saves you a ton of time from having to copy and paste all of this. So that's the first thing that you can do with transfers. And the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is if you work in sales or maybe you're trying to get a new job and so you spend a lot of time on LinkedIn reaching out to people, writing cold emails, and just in general, it's really hard to keep track of who you've already talked to. Or maybe you work in sales and you're creating a hit list. So the first thing you're gonna do is again, open up a ton of different LinkedIn profiles as new tabs. And you can do this with as many people as you want. So however many profiles that your computer will handle, honestly, I've done as many as like 30 before my computer starts yelling and the fans are going off. So now after I have all of these profiles open, again, I'm gonna go to my browser bar my bookmarks bar and hit on the magical icon. And over here we have the green transfers button. So this is going to transfer everything to a Google sheet again as my destination. I'm just gonna hit that and then wait for it to do the magic. And then everything I want comes up like their name, their location, job title, company. And you can also go in and grab custom variables and label anything that's important to you. These are just the default ones that magical suggests. So those are the ones that I'm going with. And then from there, you can go and email each one individually, also using magical shortcuts, or you can do whatever you want with this list, but you've just web scraped without any code. Okay, and then lastly, the last use case I'm gonna show you guys is something I use personally whenever I'm planning a trip and I have to align my friends on an Airbnb or a place that we wanna to stay together. And it has to be a certain price range. It has to have a certain number of bedrooms because no one wants to share a bed. And it's just nice to have everything in one place. So you can do this either on Airbnb or on Verbo. I'm gonna do it on Verbo because there's a lot of gorgeous houses on here. And what I'm also going to do is just open all of these houses as new tabs. So they're each in their own tab. These are all the potential candidates I have for my vacation. And the reason I want it in a spreadsheet is just so it's more digestible. So when I send it out to my friends, we can all see, you know, how much it costs, what the reviews are, instead of them opening up like 40 tabs on their own. So now we're just gonna hit the magical icon and click transfer all. And again, it's going to bring it all into a Google Sheet without any work from you. You don't have to type anything or yeah, you really have don't have to do anything but just wait for the data to come in. And it's pretty much instant and yeah, this looks really good. So I'm just gonna clean it up a bit by moving around the columns to how I want them. 
But from here, everything looks pretty great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send to my friends. All right, so those are three easy ways on how you can web scrape without any code. We love no code tools at Magical because all of our products are made for the non-technical. So if you don't wanna waste your time doing this manually, you can just do it automatically. <laughs> If you don't already have the Magical Chrome extension, you guys can get it at getmagical.com or visit the link in the description. It's completely free and you can just pin it to your Chrome bookmarks and use it anywhere across the web. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any video suggestions on what you'd like to see from Magical, leave them down below or let me know what you like to use Magical for. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.